Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Spank the Monkey back again with another unboxing video of Wilds of Eldraine Set Boosters. So this is the second um, set booster box that I'll be opening um, from the Wilds of Eldraine product. I have already opened two pre-release kits and one set booster before this. Um, and I'm hoping that I can make out with some big hits um, from this set, specifically the enchantments like Rhystic Study, um, Greater Armancy, Dubbing Season, and those guys. I've already managed to pick up already a Parallel Lives and a Bitter Blossom, so that's good. Um, but hoping we can get some more. And also, I think there are a couple of nice chase cards within the, the regular set. Um, let's see if we can pick that up. So, let's just take out these cards. Alright, there we go. Let me put this away. And let us begin. So, this is. Uh, oh, I'm missing one here. 30 packs, 12 cards each, set boosters, and away we go. So, we'll try to go through this since we've already opened a couple already. Heart card over here. Okay, we have a Restless Fortress for the land, the rare. We have the, uh, we have the Uncommons here, Commons and land down there. First up, we have a Godric Cloak Reveler. So this is Human Noble, 3 to cast, Legendary Human, 3-3 three, three with haste, adds Celebration as long as two or more, non land permits enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Godric is a dragon with power toughness 4 flying, and uh, pay red, dragons to control get plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Okay. Then we have the Garrox Uprising for the Mystical Enchantment, and a cheeky House Mouse in four. Right, and then they get the Royal uh, token over there. Next. So we have this art card. So we have a Horned Lock Whale. Oh, and we have a Court of Embreath. We'll have a couple of cards to go. So we have Hilda's Crown of Winter. So this is an artifact, three to cast, a legendary artifact with that. Pay one, tap, tap target creature. Its ability costs you one less to activate during your turn. And then pay three, sacrifice Crown of Winter. Draw a card for each tap creature it points control. Okay, so we have a triple rare pack here. Then we have a Spreading Seas. And a foil Lord Skitter's Butcher. Okay, so triple rare pack. I mean, uh, that's something. Right? Okay, we have a signed art card here. Okay, we have three bowls of porridge. Land. Common. Okay, first up we have the end. So it's a four to cast instant. Spell costs two less to cast if your life total is five or less. So exile target creature or planeswalker. Search its controls graveyard hand and library for any number of cards the same name as that permanent and exile them. The player shuffles and draws a card for each card exiled from your hand this way. Okay, and then we have nature's will. So four to cast enchantment whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to the player, tap all lands that the player controls, and untap all lands you control. Nice. Then we have a rat catcher training in foil. Let me stop in there. Okay, I think that nature's will is pretty good. I think it's a reprint if I'm not mistaken. 
I'll check after this unboxing. Okay, and commons there. Commons and then land. First up, we have Kellen the Fae Blooded. Nice. So this is uh, one of those interesting commanders to have. So uh, three to cast, human fairy, um, has double strike. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero for each or equipment attached to Kellen the Fae Blooded. And it's also a venture when you pay one and white. Uh, search your library for an aura or equipment card to be that. Put it to your hand and shuffle. So you can pay the sorcery, find it, cast Kellen, cast your um, aura or equipment card and um, yeah you buff up your other features already along with Kellen who has double strike by the way let's put the mythic down over here and then we have a stab wound and for the foil ground seal okay. so first mythic so far and the last one we got eight which included I think two from the list slot which included a meat hook massacre by the way so that was a good pickup okay speaking of list cards i think we have a list card here okay. so let's go do this quickly first one up is the apprentice's folly it's a saga okay too long to read then we have forced fruition it's an enchantment 60 cast never an opponent casts a spell a player draws seven cards for the foil, we have Leyline of the Void in Alt Art and in Foil. And for the list card, we have Minsk and Boo. It's a mythic. Cool. So this is coming from the um, Commander Legends Baldur's Gate um, set. Nice. Okay, so I don't think I actually have that card before. So, so this is a good pickup for me. Oh, looks like we have another list card. Right. First up, we have a Decadent Dragon. And then a Griffin Fairy. Before, we have a Minstrosity. And for the list card, we have a Bogrick from M10. Okay, nothing spicy there. So, list, sorry, art card over here. Okay, we have a rest of Spire, the gland. Okay, first up we have Compulsion. Then we have Raid Bombardment, so sort of two mystical tail. Tail archive, uh, sorry, mystical tales. Uh, and then we have a foil, which is vanity. So that was a dud. So far we have two mythics, and we are already on pack number seven. Up. We have a Gumdrop Poisoner, the Mystical Tales, we have a Shared Animosity, I like the feel of that cardstock there, it's pretty nice, sorry, that didn't go over here, and a Foil Armory Mice. Pack number nine. So we have a part of Garen Brig. Okay, first up, Talion's Messenger. We already got that. A Dragon Mantle. And a Shrouded Shepherd.
so far none of the spicy mythics uh, mythic enchantments or mystical uh, tail enchantments that we're hunting for so Ogre Chitter Lord okay commons here land and there we have a Scalding Viper good utility card Line of Sanctity man I have I think the full cycle of ley lines now. Foil of Obira's Dependence. Okay, first pack of the second stack. Two mythics to show for so far. Can we do better than the eight from the first set booster box? Oh, this is a nice looking art. Okay, we have a list card here. Hopefully you can get something spicy, just like we did last time where we got the new cook massacre. So we have Sleep Cursed Fairy, one cast fairy wizard with flying and two Sleep Cursed Fairy enters battlefield tapped with three stun counters on it. Pay three, untap Sleep Cursed Fairy. Spreading Seas, Whiff on the Mystical Tales and Obira's and Obira Dreaming Duelist. And for the list card, we have a Gather Courage from M15. Okay. Nothing spicy there, unfortunately. Okay. Decadent Dragon in the Alt Art treatment. Second rare, Spectre of Mortality. So five to cast, three, three, Spectre with Flying. There's a battlefield, you may exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. When you do each other feature, it gets minus X, minus X, where X is the number of cards exiled this way. Nice. Ground Seal, so nothing yet spicy coming from the Mystical Tales slot. Then for the foil, we have a Grasp of Fate. So this one is going really slowly. We haven't picked up any hour here yet, except for Kellen maybe. Check out this card card here. What's this? Ooh, another list card. So we have Four cards of uh, potentially four rare or higher. Okay, we have Will, Sign of Peace, Mythic. Um, so I did get Ruin already. So this is just perfect to add to the collection. Three to cast Vigilance, tap, tap it, spells you cast a turn that are white or blue, cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, so that's Mythic number three. We have Compulsion, the Foil, we have a Charm Codier, and for the list, we have a Questing Beast. Um, funnily, this is a list card in the Mythic slot, but this is downgraded to the um, Rare slot in uh, the Commander Masters block that came, that came out right before this. So, I don't know why that's still part of the list slot and still considered a Mythic, but I guess it's because it's coming from the... Um, original Eldraine um, set. So that's that's quite fun. Alright, here we go. So what do you get? Sentinel of Lost Lore. Fraying Sanity. And a Song of Token Pans in Fort. Okay, we're now um, at the end of the first half of this set booster, I'm feeling a bit underwhelmed even if we have four mythics. Uh, still no real power coming from the cards that we were able to get yet. So Werefox Bodyguard. Okay. Nightly Valor. Utopia Sprawl. We've got like eight of that at this point. Okay, pack number 16, I think this is. Mm -hmm. 
park card here. Oh, this card. All right, so let's take out the uncommons. Comments here, land there. So hopefully we can get some spicy stuff here. First one would be Imodane, the Pyro Hammer. All right. Uh, Fortacast, Human Knight, 4-4. Four, four. Um, legendary creature. Never instant or sorcery spell you control that targets only single creature deals damage to that creature. Imodane deals that much damage to each opponent. Ooh, cool. That would be a pretty good blaster commander. So we have Unnatural Growth um, for the Mystical Tales. Five to cast enchantment at the beginning of each combat. Double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. Very, very powerful. Next, we have Break the Spell in Foil. And for the list slot, we have, ooh, a Mythic from Eldraine 2, Oko the Trickster, Planeswalker. Okay, so we have five Mythics so far. And interestingly enough, two coming from the um, original Eldraine um, uh, set. So that, I think, is a pretty good coincidence. Uh, although one of them is Questing Beast, which is showing up as Mythic here. So we have the Goose Mother. So this is a Simic Bird Hydra 2-2 two, two, uh, X and Simic to cast. Flying Goose Mother enters battlefield with X 1-1 one, one counters on it. When the Goose Mother enters battlefield, create half X food tokens rounded up. Never a Goose Mother attacks, you may sacrifice food if you do draw a card. Cool. Next, we have a Garrox Uprising and a Foil up the Beanstalk. Moving on. Art card. Okay, first up we have a mythic. It's Realm Scorcher Hellkite. Six to cast dragon, four six with bargain. Fly in haste. When Realm Scorcher Hellcat enters the battlefield, for this bargain, add 4 mana in any combination of colors. Pay 2, Realm Scorcher Hellcat deals 1 damage to any target. So that's Mythic number 6. That's cool. Um, intangible Virtue for the Mystical Tales. And a Foil Red 2 Genial. Alright. So 6 Mythics so far. That's a good rate. We got 8 in the last. Um, set booster. So let's see if we can top that. But we still have about 11 packs to go. Okay, first up we have Expelled Interlopers. Nice um, board wipe. Oversold Cemetery, well, actually more of overprinted Cemetery. And a Foil Graceful Takedown. So kind of a dud there. So you get that uh, goose thingy for the art card. Oh, and you have a list card now. Alright, first one up, we have Questing Druid. How is this related to Questing Beast? We don't know. Ground Seal for the Mystical Tales. You have no um, rare Mystical Tales yet, I think, of any value. Feed the Cauldron, Oil, and Nivix Airy of the Fire Mind. I don't know what set this is from, so it's a land. Tap to add one colorless, pay four. Tap it, exile top card library until the next turn you may cast a card. This is instant or sorcery. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Never seen that card yet. Okay, so this is the first pack of the last stack. Hopefully we can end the strong, maybe at least three more mythics if we can get that lucky. Okay, so this one has five uncommons. So let's start off with an Archon of the Wild Rose. Okay. Hatching plans. Three bowls of porridge. Still whiffing on the uh, Mystical Tales section. We're not getting any of those good reprints. But maybe we'll save the best for last, right? Okay, here we go. Pollen Shield Hair. So it's an adventure card. Um, it's a rabbit. 2 2 creature tokens you control get 1 1. And then hair raising, sorcery. Target creature you control gains vigilance plus. It gets plus X with X. With hot uh, and where X number of creatures you control. Okay. Can we get something good here? No. It's a grasp of fate. In the foil we have Devouring Sugar Maul. Okay, that's a funny looking card there. Next pack. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we have a mythic. It's a boardless will sign of peace. Um, so yeah, we, we have a duplicate here, but this is in the anime alt art borderless. Okay, cool. So we'll put that there. We have seven mythics so far. Let's see if we can get some good ones here. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Okay, come on, give us a doubling season. Oh no, we get a Primal Vigor. Okay, which is okay. And then a Foil Johan Stockia. Come on, give me a doubling season or a Greater Aramancy. Right, so art card there. Okay, we have another list card. Okay, let's take away the commons. Uncommons, commons, okay. So first up we have Restless Vine Stock. Look at there. Curiosity, still whiffing on the uh, Mystical Tales part. And then a foil cursed port here. And for the list we have Runar Battlehammer. Uh, from AFR. One of the protagonists from the Drizzt Dwarden um, series from Forgotten Realms. Love that uh, series of books. If you have a chance to read it, go ahead, do so. Okay, here we go. Feral Encounter. For the rare slot here, can we get a doubling season? No, we get that for threats. And a foil prophetic prison. So far, seven mythics, five packs to go. We just might end up matching the other box, but that had Parallel Lives and Bear Blossom. Here we have nothing from the uh, Mystical Tales section. Kind of a letdown. Okay, we have Hail for the Ages, enchantment, because we will get plus two plus two. Do we get something good here? Ooh, it's borderless. Ah, impact run, still nothing yet. Man, this, this box is a dud, I think. No saving grace whatsoever. Okay. Oh, we have another list card here. 
So we have a rotisserie elemental. It's funny. Just uncommon and common way. So from the list that we have Academy Manufacturer. It's okay. A little bit of value there. Cooped up in foil. For the mystical tales. Do we have something good? It's a rare. Sanguine Bond, not what I was looking for, and Dark Pupilage. So still stuck at seven mythics, three packs to go. Okay, we get the Ice and Crag. So this is a legendary artifact for two to cast. Add one color list. And whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Isengrad to become a legendary equipment artifact named Everflame Heroes Legacy. If you do, it gains equip 3 and equip creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and loses all other abilities. Strange. Okay, so here we go. So for the foil, we get the red cap thief. For the mystical archives. Okay, we get a mythic. It's green. Is it doubling season? No, it's paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I already picked this up in the in the other set booster. Would have wished that this would be a doubling season, but take it. It's mythic number eight, and then we have a Griffin Airy to end that. So last two packs now. So we've at least matched the prior. Um, set booster box with eight. Although I would have to say that in terms of the mystical tales, that other one had bitter blossom, which is good reprint. So I don't know if we'll be able to um, match that. Ooh, we get another mythic. It's Tegwell Duke of Splendor. Nice. So this is mythic number nine. Wasn't expecting that. Um, so this is coming from the commander precon. Uh, so Tegwill is a 2-3 Fairy Noble, Flying Death Touch, other fairies you control get plus one plus one. And whenever another fairy you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. Nice! So I think that is a pretty good pickup for me. Definitely a commander that we can put together with a fairy theme. Good with Bitter Blossom for sure. Okay, so last chance here. For the foil, we have a Storyteller Pixie and an Uncommon Season of Growth, which is okay. Oh, and it's a double Mythic pack. Nice. We have Baluna Ground Squall. Um, so this is a Timor uh, Giant Noble 4-4 with an Adventure. So Trap of Permanent Spells you cast that have an Adventure cost one less to cast. And Seek Thrills Instant, pay five mill seven cards and put all cards that have an adventure from among them, among the milled cards into your hand. So we have 10 mythics. Okay, so maybe it, it does match the prior box. But again, we're not seeing the power there, but still, we got tired of the lives. So we'll just see what we can do with the last one. No, which is called, I would have wanted to get one though. Um, there's still a chance we can get one. Okay, so pass, pass it. So what do we get here? For the foil, we get a common, unassuming stage. For the mystical archives, okay, we just get a raid bombardment for the rare. It's an elvish archivist. So that's it. So just to review, we did get 10 mythics. We got two will scions of peace. Uh, one in the anime treatment, one in the regular. We have the funny questing beast which is a list card mythic but has been downgraded to rare uh, in Commander Masters. And we get a nice peg wheel, which actually I was kind of looking for. So I could probably build a fairy commander without having to buy the precon um, using that. Okay, I hope you like this unboxing and I'll catch you in the next one guys. Take care, bye-bye.